Hey everyone, this is Jess from non Techie Entrepreneur, and this tutorial is a part of the Mastering Shopify series. In this video, I am going to cover how to create a draft order. Creating a draft order for customers are easy to do with Shopify. First, you need to be logged in to your Shopify admin dashboard. Once in, you'll go to orders in the main navigation and drafts in the sub navigation of orders. From there, you can select create draft order. This will open up the order editing menu for you. It's broken down into three different parts. So we have our order details where we will input the products that we have in our store to this draft order. We also have the option of creating a custom item, which we will need a name, a price, and a quantity. You will need to check if this product is taxable and if it requires shipping. From there, you can browse your products and add from your existing products on your store. So for this, I'm going to take two products and add it to the order. This will populate the information from the products. It automatically calculates the subtotal. You can add notes. You can add a discount, whether it be dollar amount or percentage. You can add shipping costs to it. So if you have your calculated shipping rates input it, you can select them from here or free shipping. From there, your taxes are added and you're given a total. Once you add those products, you have the option to reserve items. This gives you a date that you can hold those items out of your inventory to, for this customer to purchase. So you have a time and you have a date. Once, if this order is still in draft status when this is over, then it will be restocked. So the inventory will go back into your products and that will be it. They can still purchase from this setup, but they won't be reserved. From here, you can add a customer to this order. So you'll need the first name. You'll need the last name, their email address. You can click that this customer accepts email marketing or if this customer is tax exempt. You can have your shipping address information put in for this customer and then save. That creates the customer here. You can see any updates for this customer as far as their orders, their billing address updates and shipping updates. You can add tags to this order and mark it as urgent, reviewed, wholesale, something that makes it identifiable if you have a lot of draft orders. After that is set and the products are where you need them, then you can email this invoice to the customer. Once it's emailed to the customer, they will receive an email where they will be able to complete the payment for this order. So when we click send invoice, we have the customer's email address. We can set our email address that we will be sending from. The invoice 
name is all automatically inputted into the subject. So this can be customized. And then if you want to send a custom message to this customer in this invoice, then you can do that. Once you review the email, then it will be sent to the customer. After you send the order or save the draft order, you'll notice the timeline opens up at the bottom. This lets you know how this order is pro proceeding. So here we know that we've created this draft order just now. And when the customer pays for this, pro this order, then it will show in the timeline. If you created this order and you have receive cash or you've received a external payment for this order, you can manually mark it as paid. If the customer is in front of you or you're taking a phone order and they want to use their credit card, you can click pay with credit card and either swipe or enter the card number for this order. That is how you create draft orders for Shopify. I hope this helped and if you are looking for more videos on Shopify, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out the Shopify tutorial playlist.